This will be for the con exercise, finding missing angles. All right, so they're looking for us to solve angle X. And we have a straight line right here. So we know that the angular measure here from here to here is 180 degrees. Okay, and since we have a 90 degree angle right here, we know that on the other side, this is also going to be a 90 degree angle. Okay, because the straight line is 180 and this is 90. So 180 minus 90 will give us 90 again. So since there's a 90 degree angle here, we know that X plus 25 is going to equal 90. All right, X plus 25 equals 90. And you don't necessarily have to set up an algebra equation, but if you subtract 25 from both sides, the 25s cancel and 90 minus 25 is just 65 and that's in degrees okay if you just want to say 90 minus minus 25 that's perfectly fine so just click in the box and enter 65 all right again we're solving for x and i'm seeing two straight lines right here so this one right here is a straight line. And this one right here is a straight line. All right, when you see the X shape like that, those are vertical angles. The angles across from each other in that X shape are congruent, okay? It has to be two straight lines. So if this one here is 25, this one here is also going to be 25 degrees. So X is just 25. So just type it in the box. All right, once again, solving for X, we have a straight line right here. So if we measured this angle from here to there, that's going to be 180. All right, if this one right here is 90, then this one right here, it's just going to be 180 minus 90. And of course, that is just 90 degrees. So just click in the box, enter 90. All right, one more. We have a straight line right here. So this whole thing is 180 degrees, but we have a 90 degree angle right here. So if we have a 90 degree angle here, the angle on the other side is also going to be 90 degrees. So when you combine these two angles here, 26 and X, they should add to 90 degrees. So 26 plus X, equals 90 and subtracting 26 from both sides the 26 is cancel and x equals 64 and that's in degrees again you don't necessarily have to build an algebra equation okay since we know they add to 90 you can just subtract 26 from 90 and you'll get 64. So 64, right in the box. Actually, I'll give you one more on the vertical angles. Okay, we're looking to solve for this angle X. Look for the two straight lines. Okay, there's one right there. And there's one right there. Okay, the angles across from each other are vertical angles. Those are congruent. So if this one here is 145, then this one over here is also going to be 145. So you just type that in the box.
Just real quick, I'll show you for vertical angles. When you have two intersecting lines, okay, they have to be straight lines. The angles across from each other are congruent. So this one here is congruent to this angle here. And on the other side of that X, this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here. Okay, those are vertical. So the ones across and the ones across are congruent to each other. The same measurement.